Both the manga and anime of Demon Slayer don't give us an official explanation of why Nezuko is able to conquer the sun. So these are a couple of theory that probably make the most sense of why. A special demon. Nezuko possesses a distinctiveness that sets her apart. Despite her demonic nature, she retains a significant degree of her humanity. Her rationality and awareness remain intact, allowing her to resist the primal urge to consume human flesh and blood. This remarkable aspect not only shapes her character, but also aids her in overcoming her demonic instincts, enabling her to conquer the formidable challenge of facing the sun. This peculiar ability to evolve and adapt, it's then confirmed by the letter that Mrs. Tamayo writes to Tanjiro, in which she predict, after examining Nezuko's blood, that the girl will soon be able to walk under the sunlight again. The Sun Breathing Heritage Although Nezuko is not directly descended from Yorichi, she hails from a lineage of sun-breathing practitioners. Her family, familiar with the Hinokami Kagura dance, possessed knowledge of this technique. This ancestral connection may have played a role in her ability to develop immunity to sunlight. It is very likely that the answer to this question is not one or another, but simply both. Nezuko is an extraordinary demon who comes out of the box compared to all the others seen previously. Paradoxically, contrary to what Muzan might think, it may be this attachment to one's human nature that makes a demon almost invincible.